and we're going to start some Astro's Playroom. Finally, finally, finally. I've had the PS5 for two days and had my wife play this game. So I've seen a lot of it. I've seen like three out of four worlds. Um, and I've only gotten to touch the controller for three different effects, I think. Um, I was trying to stay hands off, so this is going to be pretty accurate to my first reactions. Um, just not quite the very, very first reactions to the controller's vibrations and triggers and all that. What I've gotten to do so far is um, I helped I helped her get through um, a part with bow and arrow. So I've gotten to feel the trigger and having it, the resistance. I uh, When I was just starting up the game for her, um, I felt all the little robots rolling left and right inside the controller. That was cool. And then I felt um, hail landing on my on the character's head. So that's all I've gotten to do. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Sorry if the audio keeps flickering uh, for the game. I, I think my capture card isn't doing so hot right now. It seems to have a little static flicker every now and then. Not a fan of that, but only got what you got. Okay, so even just right now, in the very beginning, I can feel the controller vibrating. You can feel his footsteps and it feels differently when he lands on the O's, depending on the material, I guess, because it was metal. Let's just jump into the game. Try to collect more stuff. Okay, so obviously white. Man, this is cool. So one thing I will say about this game, or at least about the, the controller and the vibrations. Yes, you feel every footstep. Yes, it feels different depending on the material you're stepping on. However, I will say, at least for me, when people were saying that, I was imagining it's going to feel different because it feels accurate. Like, this feels like whatever this is, rubber. This feels like uh, glass. It doesn't. <laughs> it's not like you're not going to be able to tell if you had your eyes closed. You wouldn't be able to go, ah, this is this is glass. This is like, unless you just knew that's what the feeling was in the game. But it doesn't feel like if you're walking on it in real life. So. I don't know, I just think uh, that's worth pointing out. It's very cool. I like this a lot. Wow. That camera speed is slow. That's the first thing I noticed right now. How is Taylor playing with that? Is there no option? There's no option. Okay, so I have not gone down here. This is the only area I have not gone down to. So let's go do that. The SSD Speedway. Loading screen is very quick. That's cool, it's all speedy themed. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're good. Oh, hello. So it makes a little vibration every time you pick up a control, or not a controller, every time you pick up a uh, a coin. Okay, so I'm using the, the, the motion control here. I'm tilting it to aim, and then I guess I fling them. Oh, I probably want to aim for those coins. Oh, I pull back and then shoot him out. I'm using the control stick here. I'm not, um... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's do this this time. Pull back. Get that. Get that puzzle piece. No! Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. 
Really? All I'm finding is the vibrations are just really, and all these things is cool. It's just adding to it. Like, I don't have, um, much else to say on it. Oh, secret hiding artifact. Woo -woo. Oh, you can press the buttons. Ha <laughs> ha. That's cool. Pull the triggers. <laughs> That's cool. I like that you can press the buttons on the controller. Looks like we're gonna go in the rocket ship. That'll be sweet. Ooh, what's this suit? Okay, so zipper. You just do the little touchpad. And you can feel all the little individual metal pieces connecting. Okay, so we're gonna fly. Oh, oh no! We're using some motion control here. Got an alien ship over there. Really gets flying over there. Okay. Alright. Come on. It's cool feeling the vibrations and the triggers and having the resistance. Like you can feel the jets pulsing. Kind of sweet. I like the look of this. I like that they use the square, triangle, circle, all that, um, for, um, for plant life. I think that's cool. The motion, um, feels good. It doesn't feel too crazy. It doesn't feel like it's not working or anything like that, which I appreciate. A lot of, a lot of pulsing, like press, press let go, press let go, press let go, over and over again to get through. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Push! Nice. Feel like really push on that. Oh, here we go. We got the blowing. I didn't even blow yet. I just looked at the controller and I guess the, the airflow in that <laughs> worked. That's kind of funny and kind of dumb at the same time. I don't think there's ever been, or at least not since Wii Sports, there hasn't been a, uh, a fantastic game coming in free with the console. Oh, here we go. Minigun. You can feel each individual ball when it's shot. It's just like, like bumping the trigger back up. That's cool. Time to retreat down here. I bet you I can break that glass now. Aha! Okay, let's do this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Out of my way! You've got nothing! Yeah, I've already forgotten about the um, vibrations on my footsteps all right now, so... I'd say just, it's awesome. It hand, like all the vibrations, the trigger pull thing, like... I'm not a huge fan of the triggers being tougher to pull. I think that'll get old fast. I think people will prefer to not have that on. Um, I'm also not sure how how um how long it'll last. Like, will it last for like a many years on your controller, or will it break eventually? I don't know. Um, but the vibrations and the rumble, all that is awesome. I think it just adds to the experience completely. Good thing there's another checkpoint right there. Oh man, there's another puzzle piece. Just had to get it. Lisa keeps it. Let's see if I go over here now. It's all glowing blue. We got it. Oh, Lee. There's a boss fight. Ah! 
damn it. It shoots you up pretty hard. Nice. I have all the stuff. I do. Oh, the PlayStation 2 home screen. Never had one, but I heard this before. Well, that was all four corners of the SSD Speedway. So I'd say uh, this little controller is pretty sweet. It um, definitely adds to everything. I'm not sure how long the battery is going to last, so that'll be interesting to find out. But yeah, this 100% worth playing. If you get your PS5 and you're like, I don't have enough money to buy a game though as well, this will hold you off or hold you over for like a decent amount of time, I think. Like there's stuff to collect, there's stuff to do. You can get try to get the platinum trophy. Don't feel like you have to buy a game right when you get the console. You can play all your PS4 games, or at least most, pretty much every one that you, you own. Um, yeah, like, I don't see a downside to just going out and buying a PS5. Just go do that <laughs> when you can, when it's available. And, uh, and just don't worry about a game right away. Play this, enjoy this, and then buy something else. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm gonna end this now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.